So my three day handling streak has come to an end. Of this is the last day of hunting. I'm happy with the previous day's finds. Uh, they're really interesting and uh, something uh, I enjoy finding. And as today is the last day, uh, it's also gonna be a little cooler, as well as uh, there might be a, there is a high expectancy of rain. So I hope it won't rain in the morning. And uh, I hope I'll find some good stuff. So I haven't found much today. I haven't found anything good. It's quite rare. Found a, a, a button looking piece, but I'm not sure about it. And now I found something, something like this. I don't know what this might be. And it's uh, oh cool. That's really nice. And what a coincidence! After a few feet away from that little, from the big cross, I found the third cross. This little one. This one held out a little worse, but I'll clean it up and see how it looks. Now I got this unusual 85 signal, so there might be a coin, and a Russian Empire coin. So I'll dig it here and see what there is, what it is. So I got this hole. The mosquitoes are killing me. And let's see what's in there. There we go, and I think it's a ring. Not a coin, but it might be a ring. It looks pretty modern. It has some writing on it. Um, but from the weight and the corrosion, I think it's aluminium. So it's a, it's a nice, a nice ring. I've got to clean it up and see if if it has any stamps or anything else on it. I enjoy finding rings. First. The first coin of the day that's uh, worth video material. It's going slow today, I have to say, but it's going. It's I've been to worse hunts. Okay, so let's see what kind of coin it is. If it's a coin, feels like a button, and it is a button. If you know what kind of button this may this might be, uh, please write in the comments because. I can see that it's gonna be hard to identify it. Well, this time I think it's it's a coin for sure, and it's gonna be the first old one if it's a coin. And it actually looks like a coin, but I haven't found anything like it before because it's not a coin. Parking tickets, like coin to pay for some for train or something and last this time it's going for sure it's a Russian Empire so just have to show it like this I think from the size of it it's two copecks a few meters from that old uh, uh, Russian Empire copec I've got this clear signal and it's a coin Right on top of the ground. And I think I found one of the one of them old coins. Yes, it's a 17th century coin. The one I've showed you before. We love finding these ones. Really awesome. Well this is probably one of my last finds today. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, looks like uh, some kind of necklace. It's actually just something that you clip things together with. And last but not least, the third day of hunting. So 
as usual these are the modern coins not too much of them and uh, these are the the soviet copex i'm really happy about this coin this is a soviet copex from the 1930s it has a uh, it's really corroded and I'm, I'm kind of disappointed I couldn't get the corrosion off uh, okay now the unidentified things I don't know what this is from the weight of it I'd say it's aluminium foil but uh, I'm not sure this is sand I'm uh, no expert on ores or, or stones I think it's pretty solid it looks like a, like a stone it, uh, it's really light so if you know what it what this is write in the comments it's really interesting this is just a little piece of metal I decided to keep and this is also very interesting uh, I found it while digging it has a leaf stamp on it there you go and I'm not sure if this is uh, if the stamp was made intentionally or this is just a piece of stone or piece of pottery it doesn't look like maybe it's pottery I don't know but but uh, it really surprised me to hear that it had a stamp like this I haven't found anything similar to this before these are just uh, a piece of pottery similar to the ones I found before uh, these are I think the button one of them is definitely a pottery I'm not sure from uh, uh, from is this a military button or just a regular button I haven't found any of these before and I haven't found any of these before as well I couldn't get the dirt off but I think this might be a button or something similar to a button it uh, it has a some good metal right there but it's all corroded on the other side so if you have any guesses please write in the comments it'd be interesting to know what this is this is just an aluminium ring nothing special about it probably pretty modern mm, haven't found any of these before I think these are the old clippers I guess uh, I'd say this is uh, from a toy or uh, something similar uh, again I'm not sure what this is it's uh, from lead from the way the color so this is this goes to the unidentified section okay so now the coins I uh, haven't found any of these coins before it's uh, 10 kronas I think uh, from Czech Republic 1993 I'll keep it nice, nice fine. Uh, these are two Copex from the Russian Empire. Uh, they held out pretty bad. I was only able to see the 18 right here, so it might be from around 1880s, 1890s. I enjoy finding these coins as well. Now for the unidentified coin, this is actually a uh, a telephone token from Latvia and it was made I think uh, 1992, 93, 90, 95 around that time and this is an, a single Borotinka uh, in a very poor state but I always enjoy finding them and these are the two crosses I found Mm, I'd say this is an aluminium cross because of the corrosion it has uh, various colors it's uh, really light and it's really similar to uh, this corrosion right here so I'd say it's aluminium though I haven't found aluminium crosses like these like old like these before but there's always the first time I guess and uh, this is I guess brass or copper uh, mm, cross. This is my second cross, and I'm really happy to find these sacred things. 
So all in all, I'd say it uh, was a great weekend, three-day weekend. Uh, it was the great. It was a great last hunt. I'm very happy about these two crosses. And uh, I hope you liked the video. And stay tuned.